Omerta, City of Gangsters. Is it a meaningful and deep simulator taking you through the intricacies of managing your organization's operation on the wrong side of the prohibition laws? Or is it a wonky, weird, dirty, and broken thing? Watch on and find out. My name is Thorax, and this is Strategy for Busy People. If you've got a few minutes, I'll tell you what to play. Omerta City of Gangsters by Hamamont Games is a crime-focused management sim, and I've got about 90 minutes in this game. If you've watched my review of City of Gangsters, which you totally should, you know that I really enjoyed the hell out of that game. So, since I was in a gangstering mood, see, I decided that I should get the crew back together and tackle another Prohibition-era game. Boy, was that a mistake. Nice to meet you, lad. It's rare that I lead off on a review with a jarring rebuke of just what a crappy title something is, but honestly, I don't have anything nice to say about this game. I'll make an attempt to at least summarize it before I rip into it too badly. Unsurprisingly, Omerta City of Gangsters takes place during the Prohibition, the height of organized crime in America. Who would have thought that making something everyone loved illegal would have resulted in people breaking the law? I, I digress. It also takes place, at least as far as I played, in New Jersey. And, being a native New Yorker, I have a disgust for New Jersey that is only rivaled by Georgia's disgust for Alabama. So, seeing a game depicting 1920s New Jersey for the filthy cesspool that it is, uh, er, was, was mildly amusing. H have I talked about the game yet? This game has a little bit of everything which is probably why it's terrible. It just does none of them any good. It's kind of got some city builder elements in that you can buy buildings and set up operations there, and those operations can play off one another. For example, your brewery can supply your speakeasy with beer. You can attach upgrades to your operations to make them perform better. It has some people management elements in that you can hire crew who have different abilities that then help your operations. You can steal vehicles, which help your people get around. You can rob facilities. And then, in what I can only say was probably the worst decision from the designers, there is a turn-based combat mode where your gangsters can duke it out. Time to get a move on. One of the stupid, annoying, and terrible things about this game is the ability to visit the area overview in order to buy and sell goods to other people but it's basically just an annoying way to force you to have to do math and take notes. You're told how much the sum total of items will cost you, but not the individual unit cost. So you have no idea if the thing you're about to sell or buy is better than the last time you made such a purchase or sale. The pacing of the game is downright terrible. I spent quite some time just sitting on my thumbs waiting for money to trickle in so that some goal could be reached to progress a mission. You can't buy or interact with every building on the map, so there's just a bunch of dead space. Once all of the purchasable facilities are purchased and upgraded, well, you just get to sit on your thumbs and wait for something to happen. I like emergent strategy. The game should tell me what it needs in a convenient and obvious way that isn't too dumb. This game tells you nothing useful and expects you to figure it out, and it's not even clear what the impact of what you did is. Supposedly, you can have run-ins with local law enforcement, but I, I don't even know what that entails. Oh, and that turn-based combat. All right, let's go. What a disaster. In one mission, I just had all of my guys hide behind a table in the corner of the building. I waited for the enemy to waltz in like Leo DiCaprio and just blew them away. Nothing personal. They tried to get all cutesy with individual people having different special tactics and some weapons, etc. If they had just focused on making a turn-based strategy gangster combat game, they might have had something good. Instead, they gave you a game where you can shoot and punch enemies through walls, and where you can hide in plain sight by simply standing against a wall. Are you kidding me? Before I give my final verdict, take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to share with your friends. Agree with me? Disagree with me? Or want to see other content? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to support me in making more of these videos, become a patron on Patreon. Your support really makes a difference. 
the final verdict. Omerta, city of gangsters, tries to be everything to everyone, and it abjectly fails. It's a miserable title, and I'm sorry I even suffered through the 90 minutes of it that I played. On my trademarked three-point score scale of avoid, meh, and I forgot to eat, just don't. You'll thank me. Play City of Gangsters instead. It's so much better. I'm going to go cry in a corner now. <laughs>